Interesting quote from Austin's Derek uh, Etienne Jr. Sorry, uh, Atlanta's Derek Etienne Jr. Uh, talking about the Austin upsets in CONCACAF Champions League and drawing a correlation. Quote, I don't see that in the FA Cup when a third tier team does that. I didn't, let me see, I didn't like that. And I definitely have a problem with that. Please put this out there. Any MLS person who is out there talking, I think that disrespect needs to stop. It's a cup tournament and anything can happen in cups. So the disrespect there, I didn't like. I don't see how it can be embarrassing when you go out there and beat a team three nothing it showed just what can happen in a country like that and hopefully it continues going the women made the world cup for the first time and now something like this i think it shows a progression of haitian soccer and i'm excited to see what happens next uh those comments to felipe cardenas of the athletic all right herc those sound a little bit like shots fired and they kind of sound like shots fired at at this here show i'm not well. gonna say us because I wasn't here last week, but well, you guys were were pretty critical of Austin, and I do believe you uh, used the word embarrassment. No? Yeah, I think everybody used the word embarrassment. Now I would have used humiliation, but uh, embarrassment, humiliation, fair play. embarrassment. We can go further now. Derek Etienne, Etienne, excuse me, Etienne Jr. Um, his heart's in the right place. Right. I'm not debating that, but what you're saying is not logical. If a team in the Premier League lost to a team in the third division in the FA Cup, and that third division team hadn't played close to 300 days because of violence in the country. And then they were forced to play in a neutral site and then still beat the Premier League team 3-0. Okay, that Premier League team, because they were arrogant, tried out a, a different lineup and lost like that. And then on their return leg, they had visa issues and couldn't field a proper 18 and only fielded 14 players in that roster, a lot of those players last second USL signees, then yes, embarrassment would not only be one of the words used, a lot of different words would have been used and there would have been repercussions, my friend. People would have been fired. That wasn't the case here. Nobody is saying that the Haitian Football Federation and, and, and right. everything that's going on, they aren't making great strides. But this is an embarrassment right. for a team like Austin that you can't compare the roster level. You can't ca compare the investment of the two. That's why it's embarrassing. Not anything against Haiti. Yeah. What's up with what's up with like I feel like we talk about Austin's feelings all the time and like and like what, well, what this happened? wasn't on Austin's I know, feelings. I know, I know. This is this is a Haitian international thinking, I think, truly and, and genuinely thinking. Comes from a good place. That the yes. criticisms were were a disrespect to Haitian and football. And nobody's discrediting. By the way, we never discredited what Violet AC did on this show. The reality never. is, no, the MLS people, and if he's talking about us, or he's talking about anybody else, they're talking about it from an MLS perspective. You're talking about what Austin didn't do, not not what Violet accomplished. Um, this this is really about Austin, and and you you cannot make the comparison as as you say here between a League One team, which we know in some cases League One teams have are fully. I mean. They spend as much as MLS, if not more, fully professional. This was an amateur team, Herc. This was an amateur team that a professional team couldn't get past. On a and neutral by the way, site. I know he talks about, I know he says it's a cup, and he's not, he's not technically wrong calling it a cup. This wasn't 90 minutes. This was 180 minutes you had to sort out to beat an amateur team. I'm sorry. Whether the team is from Haiti or Mars, it doesn't matter. That's an embarrassment. That's a humiliation for Austin FC. Uh, no and other way. And elsewhere, to... there would have been repercussions. There's a big yeah. difference here. Hey, uh, talk about bad Seb picks. Guess who I said was going to be the supporter shield winner this year? Don't say. You know what? It could be. Can I, for one second, Aust this is the beauty of Major League Soccer. Austin right now <laughs> lost Julio Cascante for some time with that groin injury. Yeah. Alex Ring, their captain, who's been playing as a center back. It'll get better. You can yeah. make some moves in, in league moves and in the summer make another move. You can get better. <laughs> Relax. 